Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Stanley number CT. This is what's called a, um, this is a decorative tip for a hinge. This is specifically used on the CB199, and this is not an acorn tip, but it would be in the world of decorative tips. You know, you have your steeple, your urn, your acorn, your ball tip. This is not what Stanley calls an acorn tip, but it's a general shape of that. Uh, we'll start off with some visual uh, tour of the item. Threaded down in the bottom, this, that gets threaded onto the top of the hinge. I'll show you a photograph showing those um, threads. Let's tell you the dimensions of it. Overall height, 1.406, 1.406. Diameter at the base, 0 0.705, 0 0.705. Diameter of the decorative portion, the acorn portion, about 0 0.632, 0 0.632. This is used on a CB199. I forget the size of this hinge, but we'll look it up. I think they were 5x5, five five, maybe a little bit larger. Um, the client had ordered these. Let's back up. The client always wanted an acorn style tip. I, for some reason, got steeple tip in my head and sent the client steeple tips. But we were able to get just the replacement tip so they could match their existing. And we'll talk more about uh, Stanley's capability about this. Now, why are you looking at this video? Let's talk about that now. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like. And also, please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. You're probably interested in Stanley decorative tips, I would guess. And this video will show you this decorative tip is probably why you're looking at it. Now, uh, this was actually, and I pulled up the order. This wasn't used on a 5x5. Five five. The hinge, and I'm looking at the order on a screen here, was a wide throw. The hinge is a wide throw, a WT CB199, 45 by 7 is what it is. Um, and I ordered it with the acorn tip, but then there was some translation loss. The vendor said, hey, you, wanna, you want a ST tip. I'm like, yeah, that's the one. Well, it turns out that's not the one. Um, so that was a steeple tip. So this was on a wide throw 45 by 7 solid brass, heavyweight, uh, concealed bearing, five knuckle. And how we got to Stanley was an interesting tale. Uh, the client emailed me photographs of their original hinge, which I will share with you, uh, from Hager. And that hinge was wide throw. It was solid brass. You could tell it was solid brass because of the way that the brass looks. Um, it was definitely an acorn tip, and it was plain bearing. Reached out to Hager for that hinge, which would be their 1199, WT 1199, 4.5 by 7 acorn tip. They came back and said, we cannot make that hinge in a plain bearing. Okay. Uh, so why plain bearing? Why, why are we, why, well, that's, the client wants it to match exactly. Exactly. Uh, can you make it in a ball bearing? Uh, no, we can't. Can you make it in a three knuckle? Uh, no, we can't. McKinney couldn't help. Bomber couldn't help. And, you know, back to Stanley. And I say back to Stanley because Stanley ends up, I have found over time, solving problems for me that other manufacturers simply stop short of. And Stanley has been a favorite of mine for years, decades in fact, uh, because of their fit and finish. They have a really nice looking hinge. When you take the hinge out and you look at it, you say, that's a good looking piece of hardware. Um, at least I do. Compared to the attempts of other manufacturers, Stanley stands uh, above all others, in fact. Uh, McKinney's pretty good, uh, but there are others that fall somewhat short. And here is Stanley coming out of nowhere. Uh, this hinge doesn't necessarily exist in their book, um, but it had to be those things. Now, Stanley wouldn't do a plain bearing, and a ball bearing we knew wasn't acceptable. I asked them, will you do a concealed bearing? Because the look of the bearing, the look of the knuckles, from a distance, that looks like it's plain bearing. People in the know can tell that it's not playing bearing because that barrel seems to be a little bit thicker and it's really unusual to see a plain bearing hinge, most definitely in a wide throw. A wide throw hinge is not a load 
rated hinge at all, so you're really not going to see plane bearing in those applications. You can, but you it's best to go with a hinge that will substantially reduce the amount of friction that the hinge has to deal with in just doing its job, whether it be standard or heavyweight, traditional ball bearing, or concealed bearing type construction. Um, that's what it is. Let's switch to the screen view and let's take a look at some supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. So this order for this client was a bit more of an odyssey than I would have liked. The factory originally sent plain bear, um, pardon me, button tip hinges. When it's a standard tip on a hinge, that we call that a button tip. But you can see in this CB, it looks like a plain bearing hinge. It really does. The second time around we sent the client the this is the hinge wide throw solid brass but with steeple tips that was my my error I rubber stamped someone else's error and well that's what got made let's take a look at what the hinge originally let's take a look at what we were matching Here's the hinge that the client sent us to match. Hager hinge, definitely, uh, well, it's plain bearing. That's the tip we we're looking to match. Let's take a look at our images. So, not exact, but not awful at the same time. I, you know, it's, it's going to have to be acceptable. The original hinge manufacturer declined the opportunity to make. There, there it is threaded, and if you recall our um, image here. Okay, so that's what we're threading. So that's what we were matching, and uh, Stanley did a really great job on it, there's no doubt. Now, let's take a look at what Stanley shows for options on pins, and then you'll see where the error crept in. The vendor said, hey, you want the ST, right? And I said, yep, that's the one. Nope. CT is what I wanted. So a steeple tip, a CT, I don't know what CT stands for. Um, but I'm just going to call it acorn tip. Um, if anyone knows what the what C stands for, if that's steeple and that's ball, what's this CT? But that's those are your decorative tips from uh, Stanley. Now let's take a look at information that we have linked to. Actually, no, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page here. And from here, you can pull up not only all of the Stanley products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website here, but as well as a link to the catalog here. And when we pull up the full line catalog, the purpose of doing this is to, uh, well, first, to show you how encyclopedic a document this can be. If you're interested to conduct a deep dive into the study of hinges, the Stanley catalog is among a short list of many well most hinge manufacturers do a do a good job um, Stanley and a couple others do an exceptional job when it comes to just really detailing everything about hinges so if you work in the industry whether you're a specifier you're a distributor you're a manufacturer you're a spec um, you're an architect possessing a working knowledge of the information here will be knowledge that will be very beneficial to you over your career I've I have found that formula on how to determine wide throw since we're dealing with a wide throw hinge here. Um, I don't know how they accommodate, I don't know how they came up with seven inch wide. I imagine the hinge that the client is replacing is several decades old. Somebody determined that and this is how you go about doing that. And as we continue to scroll through you'll see different options and definitions and tables and codes and charts. Um, 
we're going to get to where those decorative tips are eventually. I'll lift knuckle hinges. Those are fun. You don't see them all the time, but occasionally people order them. There's a good picture of our decorative tips. Mystery has been solved. Crown is what it's called. Crown tip. There you go. Solid brass used for the CB and the F lines. Crown. I would not have guessed that at all. If we do a search for CB199, which is the root hinge that this is working with, we will eventually get to that page in the catalog. It's such a common hinge, it shows up a few dozen times in the catalog. Here we are, CB199. That is a brass or a bronze base metal on the hinge. Sizes available, thicknesses. Okay, they're telling us that it's a heavyweight concealed life span, concealed bearing. Why would you want a concealed bearing? Extremely clean look, in my opinion. Far cleaner than a BB, like an uh, like a just a, a BB eleven ninety nine. Uh, no, pardon, pardon me, it'd be a BB-199. Um, Clean look. Wouldn't you agree that CB-199? Get back up to where it is. Yeah, I think you'd agree. This is a much cleaner look. Um, and you can spot these Stanley hinges. They'll say CB on them. That's... That is an extremely exceptional hinge, very good at carrying uh, weight. Uh, that concealed bearing concept does give you that extreme longevity of a hinge that might look like a plain bearing hinge and will wear down every time you cycle the door. Okay, Just wanted to show that to you, all kinds of hinges in here. On that Stanley page, uh, as I had said earlier, other resources there uh, for you to review. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Again, this is solid brass, and I should tell you that the weight of this item is about, mm, about 0 0.09 pound. Yeah, so it's almost a tenth of a pound. Um, you know, it's a heavy, heavy tip it's it's a solid piece of machined brass is what it is obviously available in all the different finishes that you can do this material in so if you have any questions on the crown tip the ct is what it's actually called or any other stanley product please feel free to reach out to us and thank you again thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please click thumbs up please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know thank you